If you're one of the lucky people that can call the OnePlus One a daily driver, what with the invite system and actually the ability to get the phone on Tuesdays nowadays, uh, then you would know that it is a pretty well-designed phone, especially with the sandstone black material on the back uh, that is a premium feel for a $345 phone. But for an extra $50, you can replace the back with what is now available, a bamboo cover. And that's exactly what I'm about to do now because it's just Joshua Vergara from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And my OnePlus One right now looks like this, but soon after this video, it will look like this. Oh yeah, workshop angle. So here is my OnePlus One, currently with the sandstone black that comes with the $349 edition, obviously. Uh, I haven't really been using it too much on the daily as of late, but that's probably gonna change once I'm done with this installation. And we're gonna go ahead and get started right now. Just a quick unboxing of the actual uh, device itself, or rather the accessory, we should call it. Um, the typical white and red that the boxes come in, OnePlus One's style, or OnePlus's style. Go ahead and slide it out and there is the bamboo cover and here is what everything kind of looks like. Now if you look at the bamboo cover it has everything cut just right but you'll notice here on the side if I remember correctly that the SIM card slot right over here is a separate piece. Now we have our instructions right here to actually install the thing along with a couple of tools that are available for the installation. This will separate the back cover from the device frame itself. Uh, it's just this little guitar pick looking thing that I'm going to be poking and prodding all of the different snaps out from the sides. And then the SIM card trays are over here. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, that's awesome. So the SIM card tray is this one, the original one, and I used to have to put an adapter on my nano SIM card in order for it to work in the OnePlus One, but now there is a nano SIM tray right here, which actually makes it very nice. I don't have to use an adapter for it. But those are the tools that are inside. I will be going through these instructions in a sec, and we're going to get started with this. The other tools that you are going to need uh, come with your OnePlus One for the most part. I have this SIM tray tool right here that will pop out the SIM tray. And that's the first thing I have to do here. And then I'm actually going to use a uh, headphone jack in order to pop up the first part of the cover from here. And then that blue tool that you can see right here uh, is going to help me pop out all the other notches. The sandstone colored back is now removed and we have access to the body itself. So there are the two covers. So you can see them side by side as compared to the actual device itself. And you're gonna see how the look is actually changing quite a bit from here. Uh, if you know me already, I love bamboo backings on my phones. That's why I'm a big fan of the Moto X and I use that on the daily. But now I'm going to have a bamboo backing for my OnePlus One. Now installing the bamboo backing onto the phone should be a matter of just snapping it on, which is great. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. Removing the sandstone cover, however, uh, was a little bit difficult, but with the included tool, it finally uh, kind of came out and it was definitely a lot better than using like a flathead screwdriver or your fingernails, God forbid. Uh, but nonetheless, I wanted to take a quick look at the insides of these two covers uh, so you can just sort of see the differences between them. Uh, one thing I will point out is that the sandstone material does uh, feel like it's on the sides here but on the bamboo cover you have bamboo on the back but on the sides here it is a plastic lining and of course the insides of both are made of plastic so that's not much of a surprise and really not that big a deal. I just thought I would mention that. So we're gonna put the sandstone aside and it will probably sit in a drawer now because now it's time to install the bamboo one. And there you go. After popping in the replacement nano SIM tray over here on the side, I'm officially on my way having this 
bamboo one plus one in my possession and i'm super excited to use it i love bamboo backings on phones and right now the moto x and the one plus one are the main ones that have it especially if you spend the 50 dollars in order to get your replacement backing to replace the sandstone of the original one plus one and 50 dollars is not that big uh, of a cost to have when you can change the look dramatically of your phone i do have a couple of remarks though the handling of the phone itself is still mostly the same the sandstone black still has a bit of a better texture to it especially when you have it sitting in one hand the grip feels just a little bit better but not by too much and as far as the look goes uh, i will admit that that let's say plastic lining around the bamboo that separates it from the actual frame of the phone is uh, maybe a little bit jarring. Uh, you are expecting somewhat to have a full bamboo backing, but I understand that that's not necessarily the case. But when you go from the bamboo to the plastic and then you move over more, you also still have that metal uh, sort of frame around the screen. So there's a bit of a juxtaposition when it comes to the look of this phone once you have this bamboo cover on. It's not a big deal by any means, but it is something that you might notice that you basically have well a three-toned phone at this point um, but nonetheless it still looks very nice quite exquisite and I am going to enjoy putting it on here um, testing out the connectivity on this particular phone I do see that I still get reception just fine and the one thing that I knew I really wanted to test out was whether or not the NFC changes on here as well well I tested it on my UE mega boom and sure enough it was able to connect to the speaker just fine using NFC and then of course Bluetooth to get right over so it looks like the connectivity options are still going to remain the same and you'll still have the same experience when it comes to your OnePlus One experience on here. So that does it for this look and very quick review of the uh, bamboo style swab cover that OnePlus has made available now. I did use an invite in order to get it, but according to the website, you don't necessarily need to have an invite to get it for $50 off of their accessory section in their store website. So. You can pop over and uh, buy it yourself if you have a OnePlus One and you just want to change the look a little bit. It is a pretty drastic change from the sandstone black, but I think it's one that me, at least personally, uh, will really love. So keep it tuned to Android Authority for even more coverage. Uh, we do have our OnePlus One review right over on the side in case you haven't seen it already. Uh, and also, don't forget to check us out for MWC that is happening in just a couple of weeks. Uh, and we're going to have a lot of great coverage for you from Barcelona, Spain for the Mobile World Conference. Congress of 2015. Keep it tuned here and drop us some likes on our videos. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to listen to our podcast. We're coming up on our fifth episode there of the Friday Debate Podcast. And you can find it on all of the different podcast channels out there, including iTunes, Stitcher, and Pocket Cast. And once you're done with all of that, don't forget to head on over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.